Hey guys, I am Bob to the Mado, and I'm Jared from Jared Action Fridays. And welcome to uh, Bible Stories with Bob. Before we get to the story, guess who's back? It's Larry. Hey guys, Larry, it's good to see you, my best friend. Yeah. Oh yeah. How was the Celine Song with Larry tour? Going great. Um, so what are we doing today? We're doing the Noah's Ark. You want to hear the story? Oh, yes. Jared, read the story. Hey, guys. I have some great news. I have my glasses on now. I, I lost them at the last episode. If you guys remember episode two, I had my glasses and the dirt episode, I lost them. But now it's time. now it's time for the story of Noah's Ark. This is the day after Adam and Eve. Here we go, guys. After Adam and Eve left the Garden of Eden, they had many children, and the children had children. So it went on for a hundred years. There was a, there came a time when people of the earth didn't know about God, but God could see them. He does. He doesn't like what he saw. The people were selfish and evil. They fought and do bad things to another. God was sorry. He has men and women to live on the earth. Now he will put the end to all people. This is not good. This is not good. Even the children try to stop him. But, oh man, that's not good, guys. God wanted to save Noah because he was a good man. God came to Noah and spoke to him. I'm going to flood the earth and destroy every living thing. He said, but I want you to build a great ark for yourself and family. Bring the ark to two of every animal, the smallest and the largest that that flies and those who could walk on the ground. As you see that there's a lot of chaos going on. This is bad guys. But the good but God said he's gonna flood the earth. So I guess there is no other option right now. It's the only way to stop them from doing all this bad stuff. So I guess that will be the case. You guys don't know what an ark is. An ark is a large box of boat that created a flood created a float, not sail. It was huge three stories high and the length of the one and a half football fields. No one built the ark from wood. He has made it large en enough to hold all the animals, enough food to feed everyone. When the ark was ready, the animals came in two by two. At last, Noah and his wife and his three sons and their wives went to the ark. The cloud came and the rain started to fall. It rained and rained. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. The earth was flooded and every living thing was destroyed. But Noah's ark was well built and floated on the water. Inside it was dry and warm. At least it stopped breathing. At last it stopped breathing. God remembered Noah. He sent a great wind and the water began to go down. After many days, Noah sent a dove. When a dove flew back in the second time, it flew. It helped in his beak of leaf from the olive tree. Noah knew that the flood waters are going away. And that's what happened. He waited for seven more days and sent to the dove again. This time, the dove did not come back. Noah knows the dove has been found dry land to live on. So he opened the ark and let out all the animals. The God made a promise to Noah. I will never again use the flood to destroy life on earth. Life will go on because of you and your family and animals that you took the ark. The there is a rainbow appearing in the sky. Look at the rainbow, God said to Noah. It's a sign of promise I have made to you. Uh, look at that beautiful rainbow. Well, that's it. That's with the Noah's Ark story. Very interesting story, guys. Eight. Bob and Larry. It's been great. Great story. So what do you have to learn today? Do not be wicked. Yeah, and God always make a promise. He will not rain he will not um put a flood again. Which is good news. Anyway, guys, that's all for Bible Stories with Bob with Noah's Ark story. I'm Bob to the Mayo, and I'm Larry the Cucumber, 
And remember, God made you special, and he loves you very much. Bye, guys.